Touchdowns and tenders. You know what it is. Um, mandatory minicamp holdouts. There's a bunch of them. Oh man. Did you? Let me ask you this, because because they were talking about this. Yeah, on ESPN Radio earlier this week. I've been waiting to talk about And so for those of you who are listening, let me ask you this question. Do you know any black people named Julio? A couple. I know a couple black dudes named Carlos. Like... You, no, no, no. That, that's what that's what Keyshawn said. He said the same thing. He said, "I know it's a it's black a, dude's name, Carlos." Yeah, there's a couple of black dudes with, with but like, no, our, Julio with Latin names. Julio though, specifically, it's very, it's very rare. Do you know anyone personally? I think I have. I think I've come across a couple people named Julio. That wasn't Dominican, but like Dominicans are black people too. Yeah, we but islands. Yeah, but you got African blood in you. You're black. Yeah. Well, that's a different topic. But what I'm saying is, do you know anyone? Did you know his name is Qu- Quintemius? Julio? Like, like is, Future's name is a. Uh, uh, Julio is not his real name. His yeah, real name is it's like Quintemius Lopez Julio. That's what happens when you're from Alabama. Jones, right? something like that. Yeah. Yeah, it's, just that. that was same just, thing with AJ Green. He's a long ass name. Yeah, so it's just. Artemis Jeremiah or some shit. I think his middle name is Jeremiah. But, like, it's rare, man. Him and Future. There's certain cats from, like, Atlanta, Alabama. They have that name where it's, like, I'm pretty sure if you say that again, like, the three ratchets of the underworld will, like, come before me. <laughs> like, B- but besides Julio. Tongue twister ass stroke inducing names. Besides Julio Jones holding out, Le'Veon Bell's holding Julio out, Jones. Aaron Donald's holding out, Khalil Max holding out. Taylor Lewan's holding out. Tennessee Earl Titans. Thomas is holding out. And David Johnson is holding out. Shout out to David Johnson. Raiders should have actually drafted him. They passed on him. Out of those names, which is the most surprising? Gonna I'm going to say David Johnson say because, David bro, Lamont. you're coming bro, off an injury. He's only making a million dollars. But you're coming off an injury. Bro, did you not see what he did? I guess that's kind of a reason to hold out. He had almost a thousand out. yards receiving. I could see why you would hold out after coming off an injury. He's, he literally surpassed his rookie contract still, in one year. In one year, he surpassed his rookie contract. I agree. He had almost a thousand yards receiving. I agree. Led the team in catches almost. I agree. And he was scoring touch special teams touchdowns. He's bro probably, did everything. It he, would surprise me if he gets traded. He's like he was the best running back in the league. I think of that group. They trade him of that stupid. group, I think he he's right. the most likely to get traded. Arguably, if he didn't get hurt, I would say he's the most dynamic running back in the league. Because what Le'Veon doesn't either have, him or Earl Thomas is going to get traded or yeah. both. Earl Thomas might get cut because I just feel like the Cardinals are moving in a new direction. And, and who else you got at running back? That's true. You're going to get Adrian Peterson. That's true. Because that didn't work. Your offensive That's line is trash. You pay and if you man. really want to talk about it, they haven't really had a running back since what? Washed up Edron James? Don't do Washed that. up Emmett Smith? First off, Emmett Smith was trash there. But you he just, still rushed for you, a thousand yards. You totally forgot Beanie Wells, and I'm offended. Come Beanie, on, dog. Beanie Wells had a couple thousand yard seasons. No, Come on, was, dog. Really? Really? You're the first really? You're the first person to slander Big Ten running backs. Ohio State running backs from the Yes. But Beanie Wells was good uh, for a couple uh, years. Uh, he was good for a couple uh, years. Uh, are you having a stroke? Are you having a diabetic stroke? You were the one that was over there like... I don't have uh, an EpiPen. Uh, You'll just die on the air. I'm sorry. But no. Beanie Wells was good for them. He had. A, uh, there's another guy in the mix I can't remember because Arizona just had trash running backs for so long. J.J. Arrington was like one of the biggest busts ever. He was such a huge bust. Ryan Williams. Ryan Williams. He had a couple good years. No, nah, he didn't. He got hurt like second year. Yeah, but he had like he was he had promise. He had I think he had one good year. I think he was spelling Beanie Wells. He was spelling somebody else too. There was there was another one that they drafted too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, this is the best guy, and he was what a third round pick, and he's already performed his contract. They should have been gave him an extension. If he, while he was hurt, they could have lowballed him if they were smart. Fitzgerald's gonna leave. Who you got at tight end? Who you got at receiver? Christian Kirk? Okay, that's cool. Replace a Hall of Fame wide receiver. And then you're going to lose the running back? Watch, he ends up going to uh, Seattle and getting a fat-ass contract. Let me ask you this. Bro, they have to pay. Is Aaron Donald going to get traded? You can't trade. 
that's that's a that's we, a Champ Bailey esque trade. We've been talking about Aaron Donald for a minute, bro. This gotta, deal has not got done, bro. They don't Let, have the just money. Just hear me out. Hear they me don't out. Have the money. Hear me out. Hear me out. Here's the thing with Aaron Donald. First of all, outside of me and you, ain't no one going to the stadium to see Aaron Donald. First off. Second off, last year with Aaron Donald for 15 games, they were 27th in run defense. And third of all, yes, he's the best defensive tackle, but. Best defensive player, arguably. Okay, there you go. Whatever. You want defensive player of the year. Whatever. Rarely. Rarely. Shout out to the homegirl, Ryan. (laughs) Rarely does a player. From like a, a high caliber defensive player, win you a championship alone. V- uh, what are you smoking crack? Really? Ron Miller, Reggie White, Deion Sanders. Great, you gave me going. one per decade. Awesome. Oh, oh, Prove my I, point. I, I have thirty-five Ray names. Lewis. I have thirty-five Ray names. Lewis. Off Thank top. you. Okay. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Bruce Smith. All right, he didn't win a Super Bowl, but Bruce Smith. Um, let's see. No, no, no. Charles Woodson. Hmm. Again. Ed Reed. Ray again, Lewis, again, again, again. Terrell Suggs. Again, again, again. Richard Seymour. All Ty these, Raw, all these, all these Lord people you're Lord. naming. All these people you're naming. One, they played together. Two, yeah, they, but they got some paid. of them had great offenses. The the one people that I will give you that was like Slander. was Ray Lewis, but he had and a Terrell whole Suggs. defense of like, and he was the best player on a great defense. My point is, my point is, Stan Kroenke is clearly not moved. He don't have the money. He don't have He's the money. He's clearly not moved to make this this happen. Money. You right? broke. I think Mar broke. 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 My bro. broke. We, we ain't got, got it. Broke. 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 My broke. broke. <laughs> we ain't got it. Uh, that's really us right now. Like, we really shouldn't be singing that. <laughs> like, that's real life. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm broke. Oh. <laughs> And touchdownsandtangents at gmail.com is the PayPal. If you want to make us not broke, you can <laughs> you can send us some money there. We're soliciting on the air now. Put some put some money. Penhandling. Put some money. Cyber penhandling. Drop some money in a plate in the pool pit, please. But, yeah, clearly, and Marcellus Wiley made this point. It's like, at some point, your owner has to just make the move. Your owner has to be moved, either by your relationship, either by your story, Either by something. But clearly, considering Aaron Donald already did this whole holdout thing last year, and he still has one year at, like, $8.5 million, and then potentially another year on the franchise tag, Donald doesn't have a lot of leverage. So, I don't know if this deal is going to get done. And it might come to a point where the Rams is trading because they've already lost a bunch of picks. They and got their Sue. They already have a bunch of defensive players. Sue is not on the level of Aaron Donald. They're two different players. I'm not, saying, players. I'm not saying he is. I'm not first, saying they play different positions. They have no linebackers, first we off. We talked about that many times. Like, honestly, Aaron Donald's so great, he'd be their best linebacker. Too. I'm just telling you, like, man. That's shit. I'm telling you. I'm not saying it should happen. He's their best linebacker. I'm not saying it should happen. I'm just giving you reasons why it could happen. I'm just saying, you spent all that money on offense, getting all those trades, doing all the, all those wheeling and dealing. We've talked and you about don't pay your best player, dog. We've talked about this before. Bob Miller got paid. That's what not? I'm saying. That's an issue. Champ Bailey got paid. That's what I'm saying. That's an issue. So you already know Donald is the best player in the league on his side of the ball, and you don't. Oh, you're gonna Why trade are you going to trade him? Cleveland? You're going to trade him? Why aren't you paying him? Because they don't have the money. It's Smokey when he was counting. He has the money. When he was like he 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. He, he really has the only money. Has... He owns three professional teams. He has money. Stan Kroenke's not hurting for the money. The Rams as an organization They're not are not for going money. to shell out more money than they have to. Exactly. They're going too hard. And that's why I'm saying we could see a trade happen. But do you remember when Smokey but was we've counting the money about off this. the big worm? We've talked that's about what they're doing to him. We've talked they about this multiple him. times. So I'll ask you again. Would you swap Khalil Mack for Aaron Donald? Depends on my defense. We're talking about whatever. If you're the Raiders, would you want Aaron Donald? If you're the Rams, do you want Khalil Mack? The Rams would take Khalil Mack right now. That would be perfect for them. Yeah. That would literally be disgusting. I only say I would trade for Aaron Donald because there's no interior defender like him in the past decade. 
a good point. He's better than Warren Sapp. I'm gonna just say that. He's fat. He's literally faster than. I don't know about that. Man. Warren was no, great. We're talking skill set and strength, technique, like all that. Like a dude who played defensive end in college, had 11 sacks. Bumped down to defensive tackle, had 11 sacks. Comes to the league, has 11 sacks in one year. Like he literally can play every position on the defensive line and linebacker. So he arguably has versatility that Khalil Mack, Khalil Mack can't bump down and play nose tackle. That'd be a waste of his ability. But he's a great edge rusher, and he could obviously play all three linebacker spots. But unfortunately, the Raiders are too stupid to actually build around him. So seems like it's finally he's going to set the market. Seems he's, like it's finally happening. for an edge rusher. He's going to set. He's going to get a bigger deal than Von Miller and Justin Houston and all those guys. But as far as D tackles go. Everybody thought, oh, my God, Albert Hainsworth, $100 million deal. Nah, Aaron Donald is going to – they're going to have a master's class on how much money this cat got paid. Um, I'm actually personally kind of shocked. Um, Like, that. that's why, like, yeah, Marcus Peters, he probably wants to get paid. But for a guy like that, if you're going to pay Aaron Donald and you're going to pay – Marcus Peters, you might lose Todd Gurley. Unless you really cut costs across the board, I don't see them keeping this much star power unless you just keep giving guys one-year deals. Um, I only said that, like, what, a month month ago, six weeks ago? Yeah, but I – you think yeah, a, didn't uh, you think a deal uh, was going to uh, get uh, done, uh, though? Uh, uh, I did, but now – Now you're changing your – you're changing now, your – you're flipping it? All right. Now – that this is continuing to progress. Smokey shortchanged you too. I just feel like I feel like if it's not done by training camp in August, as a Rams fan, at that point I'm worried. Right? Because we've already seen this holdout story before. And that's a that's a point that kind of Marcellus Wiley was making, I think, yesterday. Was we've already seen this story before, so now you doing it again isn't gonna make it any better. You know what I'm saying? Like, he already missed a game last week. He already missed all of training camp. Came out, balled, and you're still not paying him? Then you just don't want to pay him. And, you probably don't have and the if money you don't want to pay, pay him, then he's probably not going to play. And if he's not going to play, well, you might as well trade him. Yeah, you're going to trade him to Cleveland for a bunch of first-round picks. Future first-round picks. Miles Garrett. Nah, Miles <laughs> Garrett isn't enough. They got to give up a lot. They might right. have to trade Tyrod Taylor at that point. And you don't even need Tyrod. All right, so let's move on to um, Take Your Tangent. You know how it goes. Touchdowns of Tangents Radio. Um, we got different storylines from the week, and you can give a take or you can give a tangent on it. Um, let's start with Roger Goodell. So earlier this week, uh, Mike Freeman penned a column just basically about how Roger Goodell has progressed over the time. He started off as an ass kicker. Not taking no for an answer, changing things. And now, well, he hasn't really been seen. He just eats. We, no. we don't know where he's at. He's hiding. And pretty much he's hiding out like Drake after a push of T dis. Yeah. He's not even he's not even ass kick, kiss not only ass kissing the people he works for, but also the president of the United States. So he's KB, eating the booty like groceries. He has chocolate all over shout his Shout out face. to Omarion. Uh Wow, that was disgusting. <laughs> You're so like, why did I, why did I take, let him say that? <laughs> you got to take her tangent on that. Um, If you've ever seen the movie Idiocracy, I think it's Idiocracy, um, you'll understand that, well, when you have people who are so PC and so I will kiss my, I will kiss ass, sell my soul, and um, bury my, my loved ones to keep my job, like I'm talking about lifetime workers. We all know those people. Like literally, they're just lifetime um, cubicle uh, insulation. That's the nicest way I could say that. Uh, you just understand that they're always going to do whatever they can to save their own ass to keep their job, and that's not even going to save them. Eventually, eventually, they're going to oust Goodell. And it's going to be nasty. It's going to be really violent. And then he's going to be like, no, I'm going to spill the tea. At that point, we're going to be like, we don't we don't want to hear from snitches. We don't want to hear from you, the likes of you. So it's going to get bad. Let me follow up on that. Um, let, let's bring it down to the everyday level. 